Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you last day of January, 30th of Jan, 2023, end of the first month. Hope your first month trading has been successful. We had an okay month, decent, uh, nothing to complain about. So we're going to take this last month and last day of the month and be pretty careful with it, right? Because um, there's not a lot going on, right? We have some European numbers out today. We had German retail sales, which missed, uh, but didn't really move Euro too much. Uh, we have Euro GDP, French pre preliminary CPI, German employment. Blah, 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 blah. No one really cares about these numbers. I guess the German, I guess the <clears throat> preliminary European GDP is the most important. Um, we'll see how that comes out. But really the flows today are going to be pretty muted. Um, you could probably fade extremes in the euro because obviously the meat of the week starts not even tomorrow, but tomorrow night. Um, couple other things of note just on the calendar uh, we have Canadian GDP today 230 and this evening if you're awake or if you have a Kiwi position be careful because we have Kiwi employment late tonight um, let's just have a quick look at the charts starting with euro you can see we're trading here at the bottom of the range here's the four hourly um, it's just floating around right so yesterday it went up above uh, 109 to sort of 109.15 then drifted back down below 109.15 was sort of Spanish inflation numbers um, this thing doesn't know what to do and it's just waiting obviously for ECB Fed and non-farm so you know this is the same story with a lot of these charts. Here's dollar yen, nothing to do. Dollar CAD. Um, this is there a trade here? I mean, if CAD comes in weak, this looks like this can pop a bit. I need to grab my glasses. But uh, we certainly aren't going to be trading on the Canadian GDP numbers. Um, but this high is important, 134.27. So keep an eye on that. Um, Kiwi, not much to do there. Aussie, we were short yesterday. That paid. That was fine. Um, we sold 87s. We had to wear, I think the high was 95. Um yeah, the high was 96, um, but that eventually came down with stocks. It's fine. We've closed it, just trading for pips at this point. Um, in the week and in the month, uh, not much to say here. Gold, uh, taking out some stops here actually right now, but then bouncing a bit as well, 1912 the low. Again, these are just, I mean, you could argue that this market may take out both sides. So we just took out the left-hand side of Euro, Aussie, Gold. Uh, will we take out the right-hand side later today? Maybe, right? But, you know, neither of them are momentum trades. You know, if you, if you have some risk in the bucket, these are all fades. Uh, I suggest you just do nothing and just be patient, right? Uh, do some push-ups or something today. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's not a day to trade, I don't think. Cable, again, we pushed the left-hand side. Are we going to push the right-hand side again? I don't know. Uh, obviously, 124.45 uh, is on everybody's frontal lobe. Um, but it seems far away now. Stocks came off yesterday. Are they going to pop back up today? Again, this, none of this has any directional uh, relevance to it. We're all waiting for the same things, which starts tomorrow evening with Fed, then goes to ECB. There's also BOE, and then there's non-farms. So it's one of these weird weeks where they, they kind of have stolen a couple trading days for us from us. 
yesterday we got a little bit lucky with the Aussie. That's nice, but um, really not much to do here. You can see rates, again, not doing too much. 353. We've been down to 350, up to 355, probably go back down to 350. Crude's getting smashed. We we told ourselves to sell on that 82 handle, but we just somehow, I don't know, we got distracted or or we thought, you know, we had offers up at 82.90 because uh, we thought it might extend a bit. But the market's too long crude if you look at the positioning stuff. People are way too long crude. Um, you know, the support is 70 bucks. Uh, this could go down easily five or six bucks um, and then take out some leverage longs. I don't know. Too late to sell here at 77, I think, because it could easily bounce back up to 82. Euro Swiss, we talked about being patient, uh, waiting to get euros on the 99 handle. That did not happen. Uh, it was pretty big yesterday. 10054, now back at 10030. Not much to do there. Um, as you can see, oh wait, Euro your Norway's doing some weird stuff. Why is Euro Norway here? Um, this is a fade. Uh, even if goal, even if Euro, even if oil goes down a bit, this is a fade up at uh, ten ninety two today. Ten, it's just still a percent away. But Euro Norway at the top of the range. Uh, dollar China. The six uh, six seventy nine guys won right. Here we are six seventy five. Just dilly dallying down here. We've been down to six seventy two. This six seventy nine fifty. If the Fed is super dovish, there's going to be a whole cartload of stops above that. I mean, sorry. If the Fed is super hawkish, there's going to be a cartload of stops above that. I just I don't see it happening. I think the Fed's going to deliver what is expected, which is twenty five. You'll hear some uh, jawboning from Powell. Um, will the market believe the Fed? I guess is the big is the big question. You know, right now the markets are not listening to the central banks. The central banks are screaming, "We're hawkish, we're hawkish, we're hawkish." The markets are saying, "Fuck off." Um, so really, price uh, is going to dictate tomorrow more than words. Um, so we'll see. But you know, to sum this up, there's really not much to do this morning, right? We're not doing anything. Um, Going to go make some more coffee. Uh, I don't know, maybe read a book or two, read a few pages, sit here and think about what the possibilities are um, for risk. So risk on, risk off, dollar higher, dollar lower. Uh, are they still correlated? Will the correlation break this week? Uh, a lot of things going through our minds, trying to just get ready for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which are going to be... Um, pretty volatile uh, and very very interesting days and we'll set the table for the next I would say 20 trading days basically the month of February so uh, we're just saying sit back don't do anything here today chill out um, there will probably be some volatility on the fix today uh, maybe keep an eye on that but otherwise just chill and take a new look tomorrow if you want to trade CAD 2:30 p.m. is CAD GDP um, that could be interesting anyway that's all we got good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow ciao